This whole criminal venture thing? I don't know. I kind of thought I'd get my start in something more legit, you know? But don't worry. I'm in. Fuck off. Fuck off. I wish I could say I can't fucking believe Sergio, but I can absolutely fucking believe Sergio. I'm glad to be done with him. And Los Panteros. Let's get going with our own thing, huh? I should be on the list. Check again, please. Hey, just a reminder, we're having our first company meeting in a bit. Don't be late. Company meeting. Nice euphemism. I'll be right there. I'm recommending this to all my friends. I don't know, guys. What do you think? I feel like there's a lot we're missing. There is, but it's enough to go on for now. What about criminals? Don't we kind of need more than three if we want to call this thing an empire? There's four of us. Oh, are you planning on shooting anyone? After that party, I think I'll stick to metaphorical blood on my hands. Yeah, that's less useful when people try to kill us. Nina's right. We need more people. We'll look more legit if we have a home base. You saying we're not legit already? Oh, I love you, but I'm allergic. <clears throat> yeah, point taken. All right, let's brainstorm. What would our place need? I gotta be able to host some parties and have more than a fucking galley kitchen to work with. I wanna be able to set up a proper garage to work in. I don't think Sergio's gonna be letting me near the forge anytime soon. That's good. What you got? I don't know, a ball pit? I'm joking. Kind of. I'm kind of joking. It needs to be defensible. We pissed off a lot of people, and let's not kid ourselves. They're gonna try to kill us. You're fun. Hey, man. Just being real. For me? We need it to be cheap. We don't have a lot of cash, so... We'll probably be looking at a fixer-upper. So, we need an open space for the interior, a decent plot of land to build the garage, it's gotta hold up in a firefight, and it's gotta be dirt cheap. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a bitch fine. I got it! Holy shit, we are so good at this. There's an old church. Near Fort Cullen. The sanctuary is huge. I can turn the rectory into a garage. It's condemned, so it's cheap. And it's got a fucking graveyard, so we can stash the bodies. You fucking rock. What are we waiting for? Let's check this place out. Let's go. I'll drive. Where is this church? Up on 3rd. Oh, that place. Guys, look at these pictures. The architectural details look amazing. Let me see. Nina, this place is in ruins. I said it was a fixer-upper. There's a fine line between fixer-upper and money pit. Relax. The listing says it's being restored by a developer. John Bland. John Bland? The real estate king of Santo Eliso? Is he the guy on all those billboards? Why does a guy that into self-promotion stick with a name like Bland? Bland is no Roger McGillica, but if he does restore the place, and we can still get it for cheap, it might work out. Assuming the restorations preserve the original facade... You're not gonna worry about preservation when I put in my state-of-the-art kitchen, are you? We can discuss that later.
That's a lot of heavy equipment for a renovation. Looks more like a demolition crew. He's gonna restore this place in the condos. Not if we do something about it. Tell your who wants to demo a demo crew. Move this for you. Ooh, I've always wanted to drive one of these. That demolition crew. Attention! This property is protected by Marshall Defense Industries. Hurt the bulldozer and come out with your hands up! What the fuck are these Marshall Rent-A-Cops doing here? Shit! Bland must contract with them for security. Oh, fun. Hang tight. I'll take care of them. Trespassers will be shot! Sounds like the drivetrain overheated. Guess it wasn't designed with you in mind. Marshall's down, but they'll be back as long as Bland owns the deed to the property. Then let's get him to sell. After this? Not likely. Found him, make him hand it over. The idols used to do stuff like that all the time. Good call. Kev, you're with me. Where's Bland even at? Uh, let's call the number on those billboards and find out. Bland here. One sec. Mr. Mayor, been an honor talking to you. Sounds like he's at City Hall. All right, who's this? Mr. Bland, I'm calling to take that old mission church off your hands. Huh? Wait, are you the asshole who just wrecked my demolition site? Listen, fuck nut, you set foot on one of my properties again, I'll make sure you can't buy so much as a tool shed in this town. Well, that was uncalled for. Eh, let's go take his ass for a little ride.
You know, maybe if Harvey wants to get the girl, he should get off that stool and start dancing. Anyway, that was Making Eyes by Harvey Bronco. Our longtime listener, Caleb Hoffman, wants to hear Born to be a Cowboy by Rope and Roy Peters. Here you go, Caleb. Born to ride with destiny. Born to be a cowboy. John Grady had a vision, a dream that could not fail. He was born to be a cowboy and ride the open trail. Ah! him in that car? Hmm. Same dickish face as the billboards. Hope there's gas in the tank. Hi there, me again. You gonna make this easy and give me the deed to the church? You go fuck yourself. Bad answer, John. I hope you don't get car sick. Let's show this shitbag a little Santo Eliso drift. Whoa, 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 whoa! We are. Now give us the D. No way! Okay. Guess we're gonna have to play hardball. I told you to play hardball in traffic. This is how 
how you do business? That's right, man. We're local. Just give us the deed. So, guess the ride's not over yet. Offer, John. You're not leaving here unless we get what we want. Think he can handle a little airtime? Jump out. doing business with you. So ours now too, so get the fuck out. That worked great. We got the deed and a briefcase. Yeah, plus we blew up some shit, did some sick trips, and uh, stole the church. All in a day's work. Ready to head home? Home? I like the sound of that. Ooh, I'm gonna post about it. Yada yada da, yada da da da. Hashtag take me to church, hashtag new digs who this, hashtag list. And post it. Oh look, I already got a like. Seriously? How many followers do you have there? DJ Kev has his fans. Listening to Time Runner, the latest and greatest from the incomparable DJ KBM. This is DJ Retro, and you're listening to KFAD. Marshall backed off. You get the deed? Yep, we got the dude's whole briefcase. Let's get inside. You got the keys? Keys? No, just the briefcase. No problem. I'm sure I can get in through a window or something and open it up. Why don't we just break down a door? Uh, not my door. Whoa, calm down, Dad. Do you know how much a door costs? We own this place. We have to pay for that shit. Nina was right. This place is awesome. 
Hey, check it out. Cool graveyard. Yeah. Hang on, I'm getting a call. Oh, shit. You better hear this. Hi, Kevy. We saw your post. Congrats on the new dicks. We adore your takedown of that gentrifying dick. Who is that? The Collective. The Idols want to throw you a housewarming party. Fuck. Their parties get violent. No thanks. I wasn't asking. Duh. <laughs> See you soon, Kevin. Uh... I'll get the door. Hang tight. We've got company coming. Have you seen what's in this briefcase? Not now, Eli. Get inside. And maybe revisit your stance on guns. Got him. You think a church can protect you from us? I'll spread word of Use some backup in the graveyard. I'm coming, Kev. are in the church. Help! I got you, Eli. Don't shoot the fucking facade. Ah! Ooh, right there. of a housewarming. I guess all that's left to do is check out the new digs. Yeah, okay. Dead bodies notwithstanding, this place is pretty great. Right? There's a lot of potential here. A lot of work to do, but still... We're actually gonna do this, aren't we? You got damn right we are. At least we've got a cool logo. I'll take it off the whiteboard. We need a name. The Saints. We call ourselves the Saints.
So, how you been? Kev said he lined up some side hustles for you. That's good, right? I mean, don't get yourself killed or anything, but we could use the income. What's up? This is the life. You should totally jump on the Wanted app. Easy way to make some extra cash. <laughs> that reminds me of a funny story I'll tell you one of these days. Dreams come true. What's up? Kev said he found some leads for you? I hope they check out. As much fun as that payday loan car chase thing was, we cannot be doing that every month. This is so nice. This place has so much potential. I can't wait to decorate. I've got a list of stuff that'll really complete the vibe, you know? We don't exactly have the budget for home decor right now. No problem. There's a nice cheap way. Come with me to Fort Cullen and I'll show you. There's a bunch of cool collectibles around town that would look amazing in the church. All we have to do is find a thing we want, snap a picture, and boom. It'll just show up there. Really? How does that work? It works. Yeah, but how? It just works. Don't overthink it. Do you know someone with like a 3D printer or something? I do, actually. Remember Teddy? Your ex? The guy with the ponytail? Other ex Teddy. The woman with the mohawk? Was in flames with cla- Go! Oh. Right, so here's how it works. I think the Western Golden Cannon would rock at the church. Just take a picture of it. Let's head back and see what we got. So, Teddy, 
She was cool. She still is. I was thinking maybe next time we do a karaoke night, I'll invite her. Unless she's back with Melissa, of course. Ugh, Melissa. She has a good heart. How about we put the can in here? Nice. That looks badass. Keep a lookout for the rest of the shit on that list, huh? This place has so much potential. Hey, you busy? I need your help with something. It's really important. I'm here. What's up? We need to get over to FB's ASAP. They're re-releasing the Mecha Burger. The what? The toy. Don't you remember? It looks like a hamburger, but turns into a robot. Limited edition re-release. Let's go. Mecha Burger way back when. Everybody had one the summer I was nine. It was the most popular kids meal toy FB's ever produced. And you want to relive your childhood. Sure, no problem. Oh, shit. Do you think they're all here for the Mecha Burger? It doesn't matter if they are. We can just muscle up to the head of the line. Yes, hi. May I please have a chicken brat box meal with a Mecha Burger toy? In purple if you have it. We're out of Mecha Burgers. Shit. Well, there's another FB's in Marina Del Lago. Let's try there. The Marina's FBs is also out. The next closest is a Mercado. There are two in the flats, but we should try Mercado first. Dude, why is it so important to get a new one of these? Oh, I didn't have an old one. 
I never got one when I was a kid. It came out when I was in foster care, so, you know. Oh, right. Let's get you a fucking Mecca Burger. What the hell are the idols doing here? Being pretentious anarchists and getting in everybody's way. What else? Well, they're between me and my kids' toy, so let's fix that. the last of them. Let's get my Mecha Burger. Running out the clock with a celebration of Synthwave. here needs a chicken kids meal with a mecha burger toy in purple they're all gone those horrible people in pink stole the entire shipment they said something about striking a blow against capitalistic materialism and soggy french fries fucking idols they really are a bunch of thugs taking joy from children fuck children they took joy from you buckle up there they are get them to pull over not sure whether to ram or shoot whatever just don't blow up the delivery car. Us idols will take you home. I'm getting that toy. It's so much easier when I can use a rocket launcher. Don't destroy the Mecha Burgers. There! You are now the proud owner of 500 limited edition Mecha Burgers. Nah, I just want one. Maybe sometime you could help me bring the rest down to the county orphanage? Absolutely. I wonder if I still have that old Santa Claus costume somewhere. Doesn't that costume have a shirt? Not when I wear it, baby. I've been thinking, now that the Saints are a real organization, I feel like I should have a better understanding of, you know, all the basic skills involved in day-to-day -day operations. Uh, which means? I was hoping you could teach me to shoot. Oh, yeah, sure. 
Meet me at the old quarry. I set us up a kick-ass practice range. Listener request comes from Burn It Down. Who wants to hear Bleed by Meshuggah? Yes, y'all, they got a thing. This is an awesome floor. Cool. You gotta do that. Yes, this is a thing. 
Finders keepers. Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch.
Hey, wow. Eli, you set this range up yourself? Yep. I didn't have any clay pigeons, so I had to make do with what I could find. Nice. What weapons are you going to use? Oh, I'm more of a book learner. I've done some research already. I just wanted to watch you, ask questions, and take notes. That's not really how you learn to shoot. Hey, everybody learns differently. Now, the first thing I saw in my research was that stance is very important. Sure, you gotta have a stance. So what's a good stance? I mean, this? I can't describe it, I just do it. Watch. Yeah, I get it. Next, my research said keep your eyes open when you shoot? Sure. I like to pretend there's a little white dot or crosshairs on whatever I'm shooting at, and then just aim for it. Like this. Not your best work, but I think I see what you're going for. What about breath control? I read a lot about exhaling when you pull the trigger. Honest to God, Eli, in a big firefight, I pay no attention to how I'm breathing. I just... well, look. Oh, and my research said to squeeze the trigger instead of pulling it? What the fuck's the difference? There's just a feel to it. Look. You know what? I'm sure I can look up the difference. Already. Hey, what's up with those trucks? Looks like Marshall. Uh... We're probably near one of their Black Ops sites. Trespassers on Marshall Land will be shot! Grab a gun. Surprise there. This is what we call a target-rich environment. This is our piece of abandoned dirt! Hey! Hey! I got one! Good job, man. See what I mean about the dot thing? You won't get away with our training secret! Woo! More trucks coming! Let's take it! Uh, this may be a bit much for a beginner. Get in the car! No rest for us, right? You try. I'll do the covering fire from the uh, roof thing. Wait, that's not. Oh boy. What am I doing? Yeah, you're for your game now. How do you aim like this? You won't get away with our training secrets. Oh my god, there's so many Get of them. Get back here and face the music! Guess I won. Yeah, you better run! Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, okay, okay. Should've got Don't the Don't let them escape! Way. I'm gonna puke! Maybe a, a bit more hands-on learning than I was hoping for. Hey, no, nah, you did great out there. I guess next time I'm in a tight spot like that idols party, I can slow him down. But I think I'll leave the car roof shit to you from now on.
Hey, Eli. What's up? I hereby invite you to the inaugural meeting of the Saints Board of Directors. Oh. Uh, that sounds pretty corporate structury. It'll be donuts. On my way. Okay. Uh, so that means next step is to make... And that means we need to have our fingers in more pies. You got an idea where to start? As a matter of fact, I do. Okay. Everyone's action item is to reach out to their contacts and see what new business opportunities you can find for the Saints. Shit. My contacts all have their own things going already. What about JR? Your partner's on his garage, right? Maybe he'll go all in with the Saints? Couldn't hurt to ask. Great. What about you, Nina? I can't talk to any of my old Panteros contacts. But I do know some people who did business with them. I'm sure I can persuade them to do business with us instead. Nice. Kevin. <laughs> you want contacts? I got contacts, baby. Okay, go be superstars. Meantime, I'm gonna finish going through that briefcase we got from John Bland. That thing's a treasure trove, let me tell you. Everyone, keep me posted on your progress. JR, how'd you like to be part of something big? My friends and I are starting a new venture. Sounds awful nice, but our current venture's in trouble. Those Panteras are cutting into our profits something fierce. I'll tell you what. Join our new thing, and no one's ever gonna mess with this garage again. Well, you take care of this Panteros problem, and I'll consider it. Deal. Pantero's fucking with our business. You name it. Undercutting costs, scaring off our customers. Sergio sent this jacked up mountain of a dude named Derek to run me out of business any way and every way he can. If you take care of his toughs at the park, maybe you'll scare him enough to go mess with someone else. Say no more. Rob's garage is off limits. Show your face there again. You're dead. The old man sent you? Beat him down. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the saints protect what's ours. Howdy. Hey, JR. I took care of the crew in the park. Well, I'll be. Let's go after their supply lines next. Derek's got a crew at the train depot smuggling in crates of stolen parts. That's how they keep undercutting my prices. Don't worry, I've got this. Feel free to blow up their cars, too. Panteros get real bugged by that. Hey, Eli. We're cleaning up the Pantero's problem for JR. Then I think he's in. How's the rest of the team doing? Great. Kevin knows so many people. Ha. Bet all he has to do is buy them coffee to get them to sign on. Well, I'm busting my ass torching Pantero's cars. Come on. You know you love it. I really do.
This ain't your territory, dumbass. It is now. You fuck with Jim Rob, you ain't to the same. Gun, you still got it. Only thing left to hit is Derek's HQ. It's down on the corner. Oh, hell's bells. You gotta get back here. Derek and his crew just rolled up on me. This is what you get for fighting back, old man. You get off of my land. Look, better hurry. Say this one last time. Stay away from JR. Gonna forget this. That settles Derek and his crew. Right thoughtful of him to bring the fight to us. So, what should I tell my friends? 
Are you in? I'm in. What do you call this new outfit? We're the Saints. Welcome aboard. Well, we can count JR in. What is this? It's not board game night. No, this is where all our dreams come true. Don't say that. My dreams are pretty weird. While you were out talking to JR, I was going through the briefcase we got from John Bland, the real estate guy. Turns out the deeds of the church wasn't the only thing in there. As of now, we are the proud owners of a shit ton of empty lots all across town. That's real estate we can use to start up some new, um, entrepreneurial ventures. By which he means crimes. Fine, yes, crimes. Nice. You did say we need to have our fingers in more pies. I've got that covered. I spent the whole day baking my ass off. Okay, fine. They're empanadas. That's not a pie. It's in the pie family. Now I'm really hungry. Plan first, eat later. Right. So... How do we cover all this ground? One building at a time. So far, we've got the church. And Jim Robs. So what do we build next? Whatever we want. Okay, look, there's nothing cool about toxic waste. It's gross, it's probably gonna kill you, but that green stuff's gonna make us rich. The big companies drive their toxic waste here and pay us big bucks by the barrel. Then we dump it on the cheap. Now, my man with the plan is Jersey Dan. He did time for this kind of shit, so he knows what he's talking about. He'll fill you in. Dan, where are the trucks? Well, turns out we gotta get the trucks ourselves. What? Why don't the customers bring them here? Our customers are respectable captains of industry. They don't want to be associated with the likes of us. Then fuck them. Now hear me out. For an additional transport fee, I arrange to have them leave the trucks at places around the city. All you gotta do is drive them here. Fine, I'll get the trucks. And that's how you lead by example. I put the first one on the map for you. How's things? Uh, 
Ah, yes. Good to see ya. Uh, Nina? Is that you? The fucking Pantero stole my fucking car! Your project car? <sighs> yes! This is Sergio stink all over it! I need your help! I'm getting my car back, with interest! On my way.
Let's go get my car back. You want the wheel? And try not to drive angry. So, any idea where they took your car? If they stole it, they're gonna chop it. But you know Sergio. I wanna make it personal first. Take it for a spin, drag racing. Show the Panteros who's boss. Most likely place he'd do that is at the culvert in Smelterville. Hopefully we can catch him there before he carves it up. Who knows what that car means to me? Pam, I don't know if I ever said this in so many words, but that guy is a world-class crap set. You spent hours on that car. I've spent years on that car. That's why he took it. As far as he's concerned, I didn't betray Los Panteros. I betrayed him. He's gotta make it hurt. I don't get it. If someone betrayed me, I'd just, you know, bang! Not that I want him to do that to you, it just seems easier. That's not how it works in Los Panteros. You shoot someone in the face, they're dead. You fuck up their car, they're nothing. Here's the culvert. They aren't gonna be happy to see you. Whatever. As long as I get my car. Oye, cabrones! Donde está mi carro? Shit! It's Nina! Yo, motherfuckers are dead now! Fire! Oh, oh, oh. Don't fight down with me! Big mistake, Nina! Should've just let it go! I don't see your car. Damn it! It's not here. We must already be chopping it. We've got to get to the garage. What if we're too late? Sergio's people are professionals. We'll cut it up clean so they can sell it for parts. So you could rebuild it then? Eventually. Doesn't mean I won't take it out of their ass for putting me through the trouble. Hola, Gabriel. Where's my car? It's not here. No digas pendejadas. We both know you chopped Sergio's special projects. I don't think he's gonna talk. He's our only fucking lead. Wait, what did you say about Los Panteros? Shoot one in the face and they're dead. But fuck up their car and they're nothing. Wait, what?
Oh, my paint job, my fucking paint job! My car! What are you doing? Okay, okay, I'll talk. Sergio took your car to the quarry. What? Oh no, 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 no. We gotta go, we gotta go now. Oh, what the fuck, I just spilled the beans. get it. What's that mean? What's the quarry? It means Sergio doesn't want to chop my car. He doesn't even want to sell it for scrap. You mean he's gonna... Right over the edge. There's no fixing that. We don't stop him. Crap sack. Hang on, we got all kinds of Panteros up our ass. Don't let anything slow you down. I'm on a whole other level. Ah! on this one. I drove that car all the way here from Guadalajara. My family's so far away, you know? It felt like I was keeping part of them with me. She never let anyone else drive that car. Who? My mom. But when Kimo made her weak, I drove her around. I promised her I'd take care of that car. Ella confiaba en mí. Let's go. We can still catch up to him. Nah. 
If Sergio's gonna fuck with my family, I'm gonna fuck with his. It's me. Time to pay Sergio back for what he did to my car. I have a plan, but I need you to get me into the Scorpion factory. That's Panteros HQ. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Got it. Meet me at the FBs in Mercado. of the blind by he So, you've said you've got a plan. Yup. I'm gonna blow up all their cars and destroy the forge so they can't make more. Uh, how exactly? Today's the first Wednesday of the month, barbecue day. Everybody will be outside for lunch. The factory will be almost deserted, except for the cars. We get in, go through the garage, torching everything with wheels. You take care of anybody who might try to stop us. Then, when we get to the forge, I know where they keep the oxyacetylene tanks for welding. That stuff's explosive as fuck. You hold them off while I roll the tanks right down its throat. Boom. No more forge. Damn. That is a plan. The best part is, Sergio's out on a collection run. By the time he even hears about it, it'll be too late. How are we gonna get inside the Scorpion factory? By liberating a helicopter from the aerial gun range. The what now? It's a tourist thing. They rent out helicopters with machine gun turrets, then fly them over the desert and shoot... I don't know, whatever's out there to shoot. This is for fucking real. I know, right? Fine. If stealing a tourist assault helicopter gets me inside the factory, whatever. I do know a guy I could borrow one from, but his rates are pretty high.
Hey, you need a ticket. Wait your turn. We came all the way from Iowa for this. So, this forge thing we're blowing up. It's the giant furnace Los Panteros use to make all the custom gear and weapons and bling for their cars. Ah, that'll cut Sergio off at the knees. It'll do more than that. The forge is symbolic. It's power and protection and home and hearth. Everything Los Panteros are supposed to be about. Forget his knees. We're gonna rip out his heart. This thing's for Taurus? Steve, barbecue day, just like I said. You didn't expect an aerial assault on your lunch break, did ya? I brought you along. Looks like there's guards on the roof. Take them out too.
We'll have to go in through the vent. We're in. Let's blow some shit up. Fuck up their cars and they're nothing, right? Exactly. You wreck my car, I wreck all your fucking cars. Ramp this up your ass! Ooh. Burn him to the ground! You need some time in the rain. Call for this place to be deserted. It should have been. We must be working double shifts. And look at all this gear. I bet Sergio's planning on something big. We're taking care of that. monster truck didn't that destroy that thing i told you sergio can use the forge to build anything yeah. that's right 
had a plan. But this will be better. Come with me to the control booth. I'm gonna need the crane. Crane? Your plan didn't include a crane. I would have remembered a crane. Power up that console. It's not working. Shit, you have to activate the junction box. It's down there, next to the oxyacetylene tanks. Nina, what's the play here? No time to explain. You trust me? Absolutely. Then do it. wreck all their cars, and I fucking meant it. doing Nina Esto es por ti mamá Holy shit that was me levels of crazy now, what was your exit plan? I planned that you'd improvise. I trust you, too. Oh, okay then. Follow me. What's this? Crush test truck. You mean exit. Can you get that car working? What kind of question is that? Watch my back. Ah! 
one, huh? How's it feel? Fucking great! More of this good. One more second. What's up, Eli? Meet me at the church. It's time to address our staffing needs. On my way. So, how do we staff up? Easy. I've got a 14-step plan. That sounds about 13 steps too long. Yeah. Why not just go to Boot Hill and show everyone what a badass you are? What's Boot Hill? Are you kidding me? Check out the laptop. Okay. Boot Hill is this live stream fight club kind of thing they do on the abandoned island out in the lake. This sick cat named Doc Ketchum runs the show. Fight club? More like murder service. We need to recruit more saints, right? Everyone in town with a criminal record watches this live stream. Oh, he's right. I've seen Pantero streaming it. I just didn't know what it was called. But it's crazy dangerous. It's viral marketing. Viral marketing is not supposed to come with a mortality rate. It's like breaking out in the art world. You gotta do something to capture people's attention. This does. Plus it nails our target demographic. I don't know. You're the one who have to do this. What do you think? Y'all had me at Murder Circus. 
You sure? We cannot afford to lose you. Also, you're our friend, and we'd miss you. Aw, don't worry. I was born for this. Sweet. There's a ferry to the island that docks out back. We can do this whenever you're ready. Let's go join the murder circus. Sign up for this. I'm not sure who the saints are. We've got new blood making moves today, folks. This food here is gonna be a good one.
God damn. Jesus Christ. So that's what being good at murder means. I know. Seeing it on the leaderboard really puts things in perspective. Should we be scared or reassured? Why not both? Eli, mute your fucking phone. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. Holy shit. These just keep coming in. Who are they from? People who are watching, they, they want to learn from the master. You know what that means. We got recruits? We got recruits. We got recruits! Hey man, you busy tonight? I'm at the gym. It's leg day. Why? I was gonna make popcorn and binge watch telenovelas till dawn. Yes, we can finally find out who killed Corazon. I'll meet you at the church as soon as I'm done here.
Those must be saints. <laughs> Fuck off. You shouldn't have to work out. need of a magmosa. You just waking up? Tell a novella binge last night. Kev was supposed to join, but he stood me up. That doesn't sound like Kev. Plus, he left his inhaler here, and he's not answering my texts. You think he's okay? 
I'm sure he's fine. I can run the inhaler to him just in case. Without interrupting anything, I hope. I'm tracking his phone. Huh. Looks like he's at the Snake Oil Saloon. The biker bar? Maybe he's back with Tattoo Mom again. Come on, Kevin. Pick up. Yes? Oh, hey, you're not Tattoo Mom. Uh, I was looking for Kevin. Yeah, man, Kevin is, uh, shall we say, a little tied up at the moment. Wow, I did not need that detail. I'm just gonna drop this off. Cloud connected by in flames. Wait a minute. Kev's not the fun kind of tied up. Those fucks. <laughs> Where the fuck is Kevin? Kevin ain't here, so fuck off. Ahem. Fuck you, Saint. Tell me where he is. That went well. Anyone answer a simple question? <laughs> That's Kevin's ringtone. <laughs> Kev, finally! It's me, Eli. The idols got Kevin. Shit. Alright, I'll track their socials and see what I can find. Great. I'll work the problem from my angle. Oh! 
with us. Get over here! That's right. Both lose. I will kill every fucking one of you until I get answers. Walk away. Ah! Ah! Yeah, I still need one to interrogate. You gotta go. Now, I'll get you in. It doesn't have to be a date date. Someone's in there. Yes, I'm on the can. So? Someone in here! Fuck off! with your camp until you tell me where Kevin is. Fuck you! Let me go! I'll let you go. As soon as you talk. This isn't happening! with your camp until you tell me where Kevin is. Fuck you! Let me go! I'll let you go. As soon as you talk. You can't do this! I have rights! You don't so much right now. You are dead, you hear me? You're fucking dead! That threat's kinda lacking credibility. 
I want except Kevin's location. on the socials? Yeah, some big idols party at a mansion and the timer counted down. Let me guess. A mansion by the Santo Aliso sign. I'm headed there now. The collective is behind it. Might need backup. Kev's all the backup I'll need. Alright. Bring him home. Do you stand for anything? No distractions. Just get to Kev. Time to fuck around. Nothing's getting between me and Kev.
is down here. These nut jobs rig bombs all the way up? Okay, remember your martial training. bombs before your time runs out. Halfway there. You fuckers think you can stop me now? There we go. I can do this. I'll spread words of corruption. This is as high as you get. Now I cut this wire. Steady hands, steady hands. I'm gonna send a message sky high! I'm glad to see you. Let me deal with this last bomb and we'll get out of here. Damn it. I should have waited for you on the telenovelas. So, who killed Corazon? Oh shit. Her spirit possessed the priest and testified that her evil twin. Never mind. We'll rewatch them together. Oh. Ah, oh, well. There. That's the last bomb. Wow. You saved me. You're like literally my hero. What now? Now? I say we wingsuit down to that mansion and teach those motherfucking motherfuckers what happens when they kidnap a saint. Lead the motherfucking way. Blowing up a tourist sign? What is wrong with you people? The party's over, motherfucker! Perfect. Oh, oh, get him! We got more love! Down. Uh, uh, What's up now? Oh, there is the world. Ah. 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 
goals will last forever. Not the show you were hoping for, huh? Oh, the guy there. Oh. You were never worthy of us. Thanks for the rescue. I really owe you one. Ah, forget it, man. We're family. The idol said they were my family, too. Well, some families tie you to a chair so they can watch you explode, and others don't. Yeah. Thanks for being the second kind. Can't say anything nice. Fine. Don't forget, it's game night tonight. Shit, yeah! It's not my turn to get snacks, is it? After those Marmite-flavored potato chips you brought last time, I don't think we're ever letting you get snacks again. Hey! I don't hate this. I don't like it, Eli. Yeah, no doubt. This fucker's hogging all the sloths. I'm talking about what we're paying the crew. You mean what we're not paying the crew? Bullets and 401ks are expensive. 
there's a bunch of ways we can get some quick cash. Nina can boost some cars, I'll do hits, Kev can run a bake sale. I'm not sure that's gonna work. Look, man, I know I normally do savory, but I can bake the shit out of some macaron. Meerkat me. Look, if you want insured salary kill bots, we need to bring in a lot more cash. All right, so what? We rob a bank? No. We rob a train. I don't know where this is going, but it sounds like my kind of stupid. Okay, you know how banks have federal requirements for how much cash they need to keep on hand? No. Well, they do. And since the economy in Santo Ileso has skyrocketed, they have to keep bringing in more money to meet the minimums. And let me guess, they move it in by train. It's really more of a mobile fortress. Oh, good. How do you know so much about this? Sergio talked about wanting to hit it every time it rolled into town. But you guys never made a play for it? We never had enough hardware. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. The Forge. That's what they were gearing up for. Oh, so the impossible to rob train is going to be attacked by the Panteros as well. Cool. Look, I'm not saying it would be easy, but we have time to plan. Oh, and Kev, I'm taking your wallabies for the win. <laughs> uh, damn it. Yes. Okay, so it's a tough job. Let's get some extra muscle. A top-tier murder machine to help me out. You have someone in mind? I do. Someone I met during my stint at Marshall. It'll be a tough sell, but I bet we can persuade him. Cool. Let's give him a call. Can't do that. Oh, uh, why? He's being detained in a privately owned prison called the Frontier. You want to break out the Nawali, don't you? Assuming he hasn't been extrajudicially murdered by now, yes. What can go wrong? I mean, I could die. But let's be positive. Coming up on the frontier. Shit, that place is a fucking fortress. I'm gonna stay low to avoid detection. I'm gonna have to find a way to do the same. You know, maybe actually be stealthy for once. Hey, I can be stealthy. That's why I dug out my old Marshall uniform. To blend in. I'm like a total stealth pro. Seriously? You used a hand grenade to open a bottle of beer. That was one time! On the roof. Stay in the air. I'll be out with our new recruit in no time. 10-4. I'm in. You need to remember to stealth. Keep moving, and don't let any guards get a good look at your face. If they do, I'll bluff my way through. I got this. I don't recognize you. Yeah, this is my first night shift. Keep moving. Don't give them time to think about it. Attention guests! A reminder that all constitutional protections are suspended on frontier property, pursuant to Congressional Secret Act number 88. You lost, rookie? Okay, I'm gonna make quick contact with the Nuali, then keep going to the control room to disable the lock on his cell. Make it fast. I don't know how long I can hold this position. New assignment. Don't mind me.
You weren't at the status meeting. See? I can so stealth. You know what stealthy people don't do? Squawk about how stealthy they are. Yeah, yeah. VIP cells just down here. Hey, I don't know you. I don't know you either. It's a big company. Hey, wanna get out of here? You? You put me in here. Career change. Got a job in mind for you. Sit tight. What are you doing in here? Passing through to meet my CO. How are you getting into the control room? I'm gonna walk in like I own the place and press the button. That seriously does not count as stealthing. It does if it works. Evening. What are you doing? Orders. Whose orders? I give it. Wait a minute. You're the one who got fired because of that museum fiasco. Fuck. Warning. Guard down. Implementing lockdown. Double fuck? Gotta get out of here. Maybe busting the servers. Wally. On your side. Wow. We should go. That makes you think there is a we. If there's not, you'll never know why I risked breaking you out. Very well, lead on. Okay, Nina, you were right. I suck at stealth. I'm gonna do my thing now. You mean shoot your way out. I mean shoot my way out. Door's locked. So we kill all the guards in this room. They'll have to open the door to send reinforcements. Good call. Here I thought I was following you. Why the hell are you doing in my 
prison. I fired your ass! God damn! Can't talk, Atticus. Busy breaking out prisoners. Sure could use that pickup now. No can do. Started a prison riot. The whole place is lit up like a Christmas tree. I can't get anywhere close. Okay, change of plans. Down instead of up. We'll steal a car. Hmm. Careless, but opportunistic. Interesting.
charge right through. Reinforcements are on their way! Get in the car! Aim for the gates! I see them! They're headed for the gates! Close the gates! Close the gates! Hurry! They're shutting you in! So much for going out the front. Shit. Nina, you got eyes on an escape route? <sighs> Can't see anything. They're chasing me out of the airspace. So you only planned half of it. There. Out of the prison. And how will you get out of the canyon? Uh, to the left. Taking us back to the prison. Shit! We can drive across the roof. My plan exactly. Woo! That was fun, huh? Hungry? You gotta keep moving. Thanks for stopping. Figured you could use a good meal. <laughs> okay. Good's a little generous. All right, it's a lot generous. But I'm willing to bet it's better than what they serve you in the frontier. I appreciate it. And my freedom. Even if you're the one who put me there. Oh, shit. Is this gonna be a problem? I know what it feels like to be judged for following orders. Sounds like a hell of a story. It is. You wanna tell me? We're not friends. We could be. I should go. You need a ride? No, no. It will be nice to walk. But thank you for offering. Call me when you're ready to talk about the job. with the Nawali works out, because we really kicked the hornet's nest on this one. What do you mean? I mean Marshall is out in force. They've set up checkpoints and roadblocks all over the west side of town, looking for you and the Nawali. I can stay ahead of Marshall. Are you sure? Because from what I hear, they have orders to shoot you on sight. Packages in? What packages? One's by the front door. Shit, I think someone stole them. Oh, fuck no. I'll be right there.
Kevin, run me through what happened. I got a delivery notification text with a picture of some packages by the door, but by the time I went to get them, they were gone. The mail carrier can't have gotten far. Let's track them down and see what happened. Can I help you? You just delivered packages to the old mission church. What happened to them? One of your people took them. Some fella wearing pink. Pink? It's the fucking idols. They stole our shit. Which way did they go? They ran off over there. What the hell did we order anyway? Maybe it's my Crucifix workout DVD? I want to get me some Jesus abs. I hate workout fads. Hey, fucker! Give us back our boxes! They're our boxes now, asshole! Boxes full of knives. Oh, right. It's the knives Nina and I ordered off that infomercial. I hope the number of knives isn't a measure of how upset you were. What? No, the guy on TV was just a really good salesman. Come to think of it, there should be way more boxes than this. They might be nearby. Let's check the alley. Fuck you, boxes! Where are my FBs? I've been waiting for you assholes to bring me my nugs! Why don't we check the FBs? Nugs do sound good. So, uh, why'd you buy so many knives? I mean, this seems a bit excessive. Eh, retail therapy. You look for something to make you feel better. One knife leads to another, and boom. You get like a billion knives. Fuck. I'm... I'm sorry I made you guys so mad. I, I didn't mean to... Whoa, whoa, Kev. We were never mad at you. We were just upset about the situation. Also, we really like knives. We even got you one. Really? Which one? Uh, I think the idols still have it. Damn! We're still missing some. Seriously? I guess there's an idol's hangout we can check out.
join this cause. Come out wherever you are. Oh. Yeah, I did that. I think that's all the knives we ordered. Look, Kev, that one's for you. Oh my god, is that an Oni chef's knife? You guys are the best. <laughs> Hey, uh, when you've got a minute, I could use your help with a personal problem. Sure. Everything okay? It's better if I tell you in person. So meet me at the hobby store. I'm just finishing up a supply run.
Hey, Eli, holy shit, what are you wearing? Should I be concerned? Well, the dust moot event is upon us, and I need to join a house if I want to see the best action. Were those real words? What's a dust moot? Get in the car and I'll tell you on the way. Okay. The dust moves to citywide LARP I do every year. I applied to join House Dust Storm, but they said I don't have enough XP. Slow it down there, bud. What the fuck's a LARP? Live action roleplay. Oh, like wizards and shit. Well, the dust mood is more of a um, post apocalyptic meets Knights of the Round Table kind. And you want to join House Dust Storm, which is a building? Think of it like a team. Ah, but they won't let you join, so you want me to bust some heads. No, I just need someone to grind with. Don't we all? Not like that. Like grinding for XP. So, we help? Fine. Okay! First things first. Let's get you suited up. What's wrong with my current look? Thou lookest like a knave in thy garments. And real weapons are forbidden on pain of banishment. Why are you talking like that? I'm in character. But never fear. I know the best place to procure weapons and armor. Look at all this amazing material they just threw out. All I see are cardboard and fabric remnants. Exactly. Now, to don thy armor. Let's don away. Great. I'll just put this here, that there, and done. Your first LARP outfit. Had to use the last of my duct tape, but it was worth it. At least it's comfortable. Here, this is the LARP weapon I used when I started out. I like to pass it on to you. Oh, thank thee? Try it out, shoot someone. Um, okay. See? The whole city plays the dust move. They die a worthy death, they get on with their day. Weird, but cool. Now you're ready to play. Let's go join House Dust Storm. So why have I never heard of this LARP stuff before now? I have no idea. You never heard Gwen Terrio talk about it? Wait, Gwen plays this? My old CO Gwen? Yeah, she runs House Phoenix. Wait, she never mentioned it? LARP is like the only thing that gives her life meaning. I've got money on her winning the whole event. So it would really get to her if we won. We, what, win it? Yeah, that would get to her. It's not too late to change my bet. Well, then I'm 100% in. Great. Now, promise me you'll honor the rules of Dust Moon. Yeah, of course. No claiming that the other players missed you when their attacks actually hit. No problem. No actual killing of players. Fine. Fine? Yes, deal, okay? For a game, you're really taking the fun out of it. We need to head off road here. Now thou must face the warriors of House Tapeworm. House what now? Tapeworm. What happened to Dust Storm? We're gonna set a Tapeworm beacon on fire then Dust Storm will have to let us join. Ugh, this game requires strategy. Why don't I just shoot whoever isn't you? Shoot? LARP shoot. There they are. Let's park and walketh on foot. Do mine eyes deceive me? What brings Elijah the Wise to the land of Tapeworm? Seek ye to join with the Great Worm? Nay, I am here on behalf of House Duststorm. Lies! We know thou art houseless. 
Dust Storm shall welcome us with open arms once we torch thy beacon. Yeah, on guard, shit lords. You will crumble before us. Perfect. I'm dead, so I'm gonna lay on the floor. Now, we light the beacon on fire and await Tapeworm's arm response. Hell yeah! Now we just need to inform Fort Dustor. We could do that. Or we could start our own house. Be thine own lord. Sounds nice, but we need to build a fort first. So we build a fort. With what? Tapeworm bought all the duct tape in the city to keep people from doing exactly that. It's a cheap move, but technically legal. So we sack their fort and take their supply. Really? Verily. The next song we have comes out in 1996. What do we call our house? We need a good name, something inspired. House Sand... something. House... Sandy... Kraken! Yes! What? Seriously? We're Sandy Kraken. I have spoken. It is memorable. That's a nice place. Yeah, and impossible to get in unnoticed. We could get them to invite us in. That's genius. Let me do the talk. Elijah the Wise and quick, what's your character's name? I don't know. And Bosonius the Bloody. What business had we here? I wish to to join with the great worm. Huzzah! Thou hast seen reason and rejected the ways of the dust storm? Aye, they are dicks, and I shall rejoice when they are crushed. Enter, friend. We shall watch their destruction together. All right, now just play it cool until I give the signal. Wait for it. Wait for it. Attack! Your fort just got preggers! Treachery! Yo, 
and Bosonius the badasses. I have seen my death, and this is The Great Worm's treasure hoard must be close. Check on yonder pedestal. Then we must search the ruins of this fort. Of bottle caps? Huzzah! You have found quite the fortune. Hey Eli, what's this two ninety nine stuff? Tis but a microtransaction. Check thine coin purse for funds. Mimic. Hmm. Don't fucking touch that! That's not loot! Okay, calm down. I won't touch it. Not seen any duct tape, Eli. The loot must be in the belly of the great tapeworm itself. You must slay the beast to retrieve the treasure. That's the rules. Oh, I shall enter through its gullet! And I shall wait here, for I am claustrophobic. To kill the beast, you must burst the polyps inside. Polyps? I can't tell if that's disgusting or awesome. I think they did it for Colon Cancer Awareness Month, and then it just stuck.
pew, pew. My battle is lost, but the war continues. Pew, pew, pew. Shit ton of duct tape. Pew, pew. Now, fell beast, void me from thy fundament. Got the duct tape? I guess we're gonna create our own house. Aye. Together, we shall burn Gwen and House Phoenix into ash. And have a fun bonding experience, right? Yes. That too. Another company meeting coming up to discuss the uh, training program. Just call it a train heist. Nobody's listening. Can we at least pretend operational security is a. <sighs> Never mind. It's your turn to get donuts. Fine. I'm on it.
what you need. One blood, everybody like to your read. Wake up every morning, your wife must succeed. They should wipe your cause, make the world stand You will be make we roll some weed. Man, charge nigga, now I must proceed. So we about to make rules, set speed. Peace to make me right, you tip, I think I need. Watch me knock you out like a pot of weed. Body blows, busting your shit, making you bleed. Just be warm, dynamic flow, just take speed. Be more information, oh boy, than just weed. Hey, you can read all about the pure weed. Do the mobile dance. Overpriced. This is. Of course, there's a line. Hey, Nina. Grabbing donuts for the meeting. Any preferences? Ooh, give me the special. You want me to check what it is first? It's a donut, and it's special. What else do I need to know? Hey, Kev. Picking up donuts. Want anything? Oh, man. I should probably avoid the carbs. I thought it was cheat day. That's Tuesdays. You know, which donut place? Maybe I'll make an exception. Holy cow, it's you! Oh, mama, it's my lucky day! The fuck? I am not about to... Not bad. Oh! What the hell's going on? Sounds like you're... Oh, shit, yeah, you're on the Wanted app. I'm what? Anybody in town could be trying to kill you for the bounty. Stay there. I'm on my way. Just stay there. Next time, Eli by the I am not dying at a door. Everyone's trying to break into the murder bins these days. Thought this was gonna be easy money, huh? Good uh. time now, Kev. I'm almost out front. Don't worry, I've got a plan.
I'm too old for this. Perfect hit. Any idea who might have put you on Wanted? Take your pick. Marshall, the Idols, Los Pantero, somebody's widow or orphan. Right. Pretty sure I've got a former college roommate who might have done it. Well, whoever it is has money. The bounty they set is huge, look. Holy shit. I'd almost off myself for that money. Is that my DMV pick? <laughs> 